shocking. Saman Epa Rion veils Biafra map in preparation for Biafra declaration. Good morning, everyone. Today's headline we have shocking. Saman Epa unveils Biafra map in preparation for Biafra declaration. The self proclaimed Biafra government, led by Saman Epa, has released a comprehensive map highlighting its proposed territory. This map, which has been widely circulated online, despite a distinct geograph geographic region encompassing parts of southern east Nigeria, this release of this map has sparked significant debate and controversy with supporters, hailing it as a symbol of Biafra aspiration. Why critics denounce it as a provocate act that could further inflame tension in the region? The map unveiling comes comes amidst a period of highlighted political and social interests in Nigeria with calls of section and self-determination. Gaining traction in certain quarters, the Biafra movement will seek a declaration of an independent state for the Igbo people has been a recurring theme in Nigerian politics since the, the, since the diverse Biafra War of 1967 to 1970. Someone else they have proclaimed Prime Minister of the Biafra government has stated that this recent of reviewed map of Biafra is a crucial step in preparation of for December 2nd, 2024. This declaration suggests that the date holds a significant importance for the Biafra movement, potentially mark a planned event or action. Which the specific nation of this event remains unclear. A past statement implies a sense of urgency and a clear timeline for the Biafra movement's aspiration. This release of the map, coupled with it, this declaration, could be interpreted as a deliberate attempt to raise awareness and garner support for the movement's goal. It is crucial to note that the legitimacy of Simon Ekpa-led Simon Ekpa -led Biafra government is contested and the Nigerian government has constantly denounced the movement's movement activities. The upcoming dates, December 2nd, 2024, would likely be closely watched by both supporters and opponents of the Biafra movement as it could potentially mark as a turning point in ongoing struggle of, for, for self determination. In his statement, he wrote below, the Biafra government is preventing, is presenting the complete map of BFM preparation for the 2nd December 2024 freedom or die. Why the legitimacy of Simon Ekwan led BFI government remains contested, the release of this map underscores the enduring presence of the separatist sentiment within Nigeria. It is also it's also raised crucial question about the future of the country unity and the potential for further conflict. Well we all know who Simon Epa is. He is the Prime Minister of the Indigenous People of Biafra. He has, he has made it possible that he is fighting for Biafra independence no matter what the federal government throw against, no matter the, the stones and um, accusation the federal government throw against him. He's still going to like fight for Biafra and independence. So recently he unveiled a map Biafra map where it is marking the territory where, the territory where Biafra is going to like stay where the territory is as a country where it's going to start from and where it's going to end from. So as he released this map, people are this people who are supporting him and saying that ah this map that it is it's like a step for Biafra um, independence that this is a good sign, this is a step this is a step that I've been waiting for to move forward for Biafra independence. Why people who are against him are opposing this map saying that this could only inflame the attention in the re in the region this could order further inflame the tension in the region whereby it should just increase fighting in, in that southeastern region also part of the part of other religions in the um country that this map he just made is just going to make things worse instead of settling things or dying things um off it's going to make things off although some people even said that, see you, this Biafra government is, Biafra government is, is presenting this complete map of Biafra in preparation for the 2nd December 20th for freedom or die. He said that this map that he unveiled is that this is making, this is, this map is preparing Biafrans 
for their independence, the which they have marked that this second of December is going to become Briafian Independence Day. This year on the second of December is going to be marked Briafian Independence Day. So they make this mark as a preparation. Okay, if they get independence or so seal to that territory, this when it starts from this way, it end from until this second of December, people are already getting close and watching it closely because even supporters are eager to eager for the second second of December. They uh, they want to know the outcome of the independence. Why people who are persecuting them most are also watch, watching them closely to know the outcome of this um independence. If surely Biafra will be given independence, although Samaric in the one of all this written poetry, they say he doesn't mind if the independence was not given to them by the federal government that he has marked um second of December as the independence of the Biafra, whether the federal government likes it or not. <laughs> the second of December now actually people are actually waiting for and actually and so why some people are like resenting that they don't want second why would Biafra market as an independence day? That second of December is going to be hot. I just pray that tension up like crisis would not um Invoke that day because you know there are a lot of supporters and as well as a lot of um, haters. I will pray it will not this second of December will not be like the Pierre War that happened in 1967 and ended in 1970. I just pray it won't be like that whereby people will have to die all in the name of this independence of Pierre Although, and some other people mentioned this, uh, this um, second of December marks as the freedom of Pierre freedom or die. So this die that he put there is this thing that people have to die beyond the name of this Biafra independence. This one he mentioned die freedom or die. So is this thing that they have to like die only in the name of this Biafra um, independence. People up, up, up to now we are still suffering from the ones we are still remembering those who died during the nineties during the nineteen sixty seven uh, um, Biafra what nineteen seventy Biafra war. Now they are making everyone saying freedom on that die in this um, recent date. You have unleashed the line saying that 2nd of December is going to be a um, Biafran um, independence. So, is he wishing that some, some of his supporters will have to die on the name of this um, Biafran independence? Well, this is just that well, that is my that is my opinion concerning this issue. If you have any comments or any opinion concerning this headline, as well drop it in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our video. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell so whenever we have any new video and any new articles, you will be the first person to know about it. Thank you.